so Kerem, welcome in Greece. I would like to, to start my Q&A session uh, with you by asking you um, which was the Turkish, the first Turkish player that came to play uh, as a basketball player in Greece? I get that question a lot. I don't think there are too many. I think there has been two more. I think one, first one was Ibrahim Kutluay. Um, so is that right? Yes. Okay. So uh, back then in uh, 2000, uh, when uh, Ibo came to, to Greece, it was kind of weird, you know, for a Turkish uh, player or for a Greek player to go to Turkey to play basketball. Uh, now, uh, how do you feel, you know, 20 years after? Uh, do you feel like uh, being at home? To me, it's a great experience, you know. Uh, I'm 25 years old and I'm experiencing all these different countries that I get to li live in that I might not, to do, uh, not get to do in the future. So, um, uh, I guess that uh, from the fact that you left your country in very early age, uh, to go for uh, studies, first of all, finish school, high school in the uh, United States and then studying, you know, in the university. Uh, it's easy for you to, to live abroad. It is. Uh, I think uh, it was a good experience for me. I left home when I was 15 years old. Um, I've been living by myself ever since. Uh, and uh, most of the time uh, when I play basketball in Europe, I see all these people coming from America struggle in their first and second year because it's their first time being away from home. But for me, that, that wasn't the case because I left home when I was 15 years old and I had, had to experience those things uh, at a very young age. So for me, that was an advantage. And I'm, gl I'm glad I uh, got to mature in that way too. So uh, this is your third uh, professional year. Yes. Uh, you got a great experience uh, last year in ACB League, which is the best probably league in uh, uh, European basketball. Uh, this year you are in uh, an uh, historical Greek island like uh, Rhodos. Uh, how do you feel about uh, your new experience playing in Colossos and uh, uh, which are your challenges for this year? Yeah, every year uh, it's a different experience. You play with different players in different levels. Um, my first year I played in France, which was a very physical league. I uh, played in Lithuania, uh, played with uh, people with a lot of high IQs who knew how to play basketball. Uh, playing in Spanish league was, was a challenge for me because um, I got to play against you know, some of the best players outside the NBA. And I love taking on challenges like that. And this year I have uh, a bigger role playing in, uh, for Colossos, playing uh, in a Greek league. Uh, you know, I, I love, uh, outside of basketball, I love living in Greece, you know, I, I love the island, uh, everything about it, the weather, the people, the food, uh, but besides that, basketball-wise, I think I like the fact that I have a bigger role. I guess uh, you grew up as the, the younger brother of uh, an NBA player and probably one of the best Turkish basketball players uh, of all time, Enes Kanter, who is thriving in the NBA. Uh, how difficult it is to be, you know, the brother of uh, not only a great basketball player, but uh, uh, a, social, uh, per, a, a social figure, you know, for, for your country because of the whole situation with uh, the Turkish president? You know, uh, being a young brother, younger brother of NS comes with uh, uh, a lot of advantages, but also some difficulties too. Being his uh, younger brother also taught me a lot of things too. You know, he's someone I can look up to. We play similar posi uh, positions on the basketball court. You know, uh, he's re really good at what he does uh, on the basketball court. And outside the court, he's uh, an amazing person. He's the type of person that whenever he sees something wrong, he's gonna talk about it and he's not gonna be quiet about it. Um, and. As far as uh, his situation with Turkey, that's what he's doing. He's uh, speaking for innocent people who don't have a voice. Has a stand, has a stand against uh, something that he sees wrong is incredible to me. And he's also sacrificing a lot of things doing that too. So to me, that's uh, unbelievable. And as an athlete who is willing to give up his, um, his, his, uh, his power, you know, maybe uh, the money that he would get if he were to sp uh, stay quiet, uh, I'm so proud of him as a, as a brother. 
uh, for sure you have to be proud of uh, your brother, but um, as I understand, you know, from uh, the way that uh, NS uh, chose to, to behave, uh, you know, concerning the situation in Turkey, uh, you guys as a family had some consequences. Yeah, of course, uh, it has some uh, backfires, you know, um, whether that's uh, me or him playing for the national team, you know, my family, you know, going through some tough times because their, their last name is uh, Cancer. You know, it comes with uh, consequences too, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I support him 100% as a brother. And, uh, you know, after, you know, all that happened, you know, now the situation uh, in uh, Istanbul concerning your family is really stable? Uh, my family is fine now. Um, they live in Istanbul. They are living a happy life. They just moved actually from uh, Asian to European side. Uh, so they're, they're happy. Uh